think it's fantastic that we've managed to bring the exhibition here now. It's the 70th year of the Arts Council. It's 20 years since Attenborough Arts Centre has been set up. The two things have come together really nicely. It's a really high quality exhibition but one that really can engage an audience in new and fresh ways and it felt like a perfect fit really for our own values. Getting to know Ryan Gander has been really interesting and good fun as well. He doesn't like to be called a curator but he obviously has a natural instinct for it. It's been different seeing the show in each of the different venues so far. At our gallery at Longside we had plenty of space and light coming in from the windows. Then at Birmingham we introduced works from their collection. And here at the Attenborough Centre we've got this wonderful view from upstairs to downstairs where you can really survey what's going on. So it adds a whole new dimension to the exhibition. I just love the idea of collisions of different artists, different ideas coming together, sparking something different in the audience. So as me looking at these things, things which are completely different from themselves actually then spark off ideas in my mind which are nothing to do with those but they're linked in some kind of strange way. It's about people and it's, 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 it merges the figurative and the abstract and I just think that's brilliant as well because you can really understand abstract art by seeing the progression through. I'm really looking forward to seeing Lewis Holt's piece here. Um, I've worked with Lewis now over the last three years um, and seen him develop as a dancer and I'm really excited about watching how a dancer will respond to a static exhibition. I'm going to just try and play around with audience members and get close to them, come away from them, maybe like experiment with different spatial relationships to visitors to make them feel like something about their viewpoint is being disrupted. My favourite piece in the exhibition is perhaps the work by Don Brown over there, this beautiful white figure depicting his wife and I love the way that she looks at the Stella Stein painting of the girl in a blue dress as a kind of face off between the two works. Some of them are really nice because they've got very old pieces of work next to very young pieces of work. That's where I particularly like it. They're trying to bring together things that you wouldn't imagine being together usually. The tall plastic human figure looking into a blue mirror, to what extent is the one figure taking the colour from the mirror or is the mirror taking the colour from the figure? Totally different shapes totally different ideas and yet they connect very well and we can all identify with looking in the mirror. The Liam Gillett wall which is not part of the Arts Council collection looks terrific in here. I actually love that terracotta over there which has got a real late 1940s typical woman looking at this amazing modern picture and to me it's the more thing of the play on time that you get. I think my favourite piece in the exhibition is probably Lucy upstairs. I don't know, something about her facial expression. It's just really, it's deadpan. I like the approach of the Attenborough to contemporary art. And I think this show will be a very special exhibition for you all. It has such wide appeal. I think there's something for everyone here. And I think what is important is it'll help people to rethink how they look at contemporary art.